and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reorganising my son's homeschooling corner. reorganizing my son's homeschooling corner but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more then I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. so don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one so as I've just mentioned today I'm going to be tidying cleaning and reorganizing my son's homeschooling corner up until about six weeks ago we were homeschooling our son Ted but he recently got a place in a school so we're no longer doing that but we've acquired a lot of books and things from homeschooling which I actually want to keep because I feel they're quite good for his education and we do actually use them occasionally when we're at home and things so what I've decided to do is to empty this cupboard behind me we have a lot of plates and cups that we don't don't use at all and I'm going to put those into a box and put those up in the attic at a later point and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get all of this into this cupboard which I thought be could become like Ted's art cupboard when I told him this this morning he was quite excited by having his own cupboard in the kitchen so I think he's really looking forward to seeing this when he gets home so yeah so that's what I'm going to do today so here is how I'm going to clean my son's homeschooling corner so I brought myself a plastic box from Wilkinson's with a lid and what I'm going to do is remove all of the crockery from in here and put it into this plastic box and I've also got an old evening standard as well which I'll wrap the crockery in before I put it in the box. actually run out of newspaper but thankfully my husband Howard normally comes home with the newspaper most evenings so once he's come home with the newspaper and Ted's gone to bed I shall wrap the rest of these up in the newspaper that he has and then I'll put this box upstairs but I've emptied this cupboard now and I'm going to start to clean it. So the inside of this cupboard is not too dirty thank goodness I did a spring clean probably about six months ago so I cleaned all of this area and I I did that using this method polish I will link this product in the description box below for you it's an all-natural cleaner so it's got no chemical nasties in it and it smells gorgeous as well I love using it on my wood furniture um, it's got like arm it's an almondy kind of smell so it smells a bit like Bakewell tart so it's lovely and it does a really good job as well. I really like this cleaner. So yeah, I'm gonna just spray inside these cupboards and then I'm gonna start to reorganize all of the stuff around the cupboards. Cupboard done and now comes the mammoth task of tidying this corner and trying to get it into this cupboard. Um, I've also bought myself some baskets from Wilkinson's as well. I'll take the receipts out while I'm sat here. Um, I bought, yeah, I just bought a pack of three. We have some other ones in the uh, other room as well, which I might need to use. I thought this would be quite good for pens and pencils and stuff though, so yeah. So I'm gonna get on and do this now.
see, I decided to get off the floor and use the kitchen table instead. It was a little bit uncomfortable down there, I have to say. Um, I put everything on the kitchen table and then I've organised it into piles. So I've done things like put the pens into a basket and I've got the paints in a basket. And then I've just got the books on their own. So what I think I'm going to do is try and put the books on the bottom shelf and everything else on the top shelf. I'm going to see how I go. There is quite a lot of stuff here, so I don't know that I'll fit it all in. So I finally finished tidying Ted's homeschooling corner slash art corner. So I shall take you round and show you what I've done. It's the cupboard now and I'll take you to this corner first. So in this corner, I've got all the school books that we bought for homeschooling. So these are Collins Easy Learning and they've got like addition and subtraction and they've also got um, reading ones in there. There are ones for five to seven and then the ones below are for, are for three to five so he's somewhere in between those at the moment um, and we'll probably still keep doing those maybe on the weekends i've also put my cards that i made and i did a video on what we use those for which i will link down below it's like a learning tool um, to help kids to start to learn to read so I will link that video in the description box below for you and then I've got some educational books here and then we've got his whiz pop bang uh, folder which has all of his magazines in that we love getting now we get really excited when that comes it's like his own letter so he's very excited when it comes and mum also gave me this Oxford Ill Illustrated Dictionary for children as well so I decided to put that down here as well um, and then here this is a chessboard um, it's a board that my mum got from Reader's Digest and it has like chess uh, dominoes in it, it's got cribbage in it, it's got all sorts of different games inside there and Ted does actually use the chessboard on that so I thought I'd leave that in the cupboard and then in this basket it's sort of a mix of things in here so I've got some letters, some magnetic letters and numbers which they're wooden ones and they are from Melissa and Doug which at some stage I'll probably start putting on the fridge actually um, and then I've got some wooden ones that are just spare and then I've got some string in here I've got some bean bags and then at the bottom I've got some notepads and some stickers ABC stickers and stuff as well so that's that and then I've got a jigsaw puzzle which is sort of educational but it's also colouring as well so I've put that there and there's a little game of Connect Four down there as well which he really likes playing occasionally so I've left that in there and then here I've got a pack of cards as well um, he likes playing cards, he likes pretending to do magic tricks with them now so so yeah anyway um, and then I've also got some paint here as well I thought this could be like the arty corner so I put all the paints that we have in this box with some uh, I've forgotten what you call though transfers are they or oh, oh I can't remember the name if you can remember the name let me know I'll probably remember in a minute and I've got paint brushes in here and then in this one I've put all of these colouring pencils 
pencil tins. Um, yeah, so just pencil tins and then pens in here as well, like felt tip pens. And then underneath I have our snakes and ladders game, which we really like playing actually. And then mum invented a game as well, where you play with counters and you have to get rows of five and you have to roll a dice and get the number and then put a counter on the number. It's, a re it's called Fives, it's a really good game and if I can get Ted to play it and we can video it, I'm gonna do that for a video hopefully as well. Um, and then down here we have a jigsaw puzzle and then all of Ted's colouring books. I didn't realise how many colouring books Ted actually has but he has quite a few colouring books. And then paper that he likes to use and a colouring thing that he some, some does as well. And then in this box we just have sort of odd bits. So we've got the coins for that fives game up there. Um, we have the counters and the uh, dice for the snakes and ladders. And then we have uh, Ted's Lego cards as well and stones that he collected that he wants to keep in that box. So I'm just going to keep that in there. And then I've got these bags as well. If anybody knows what to do with these, then please let me know. I suppose they're like little pencil cases. We could put pens in those. I might actually put those back up there. So yes, so that is now Ted's art corner. And I'm rather proud of that. I managed to fit it all in. So I feel like I've done a good job there. So that's my son's homeschooling slash art corner reorganized. And that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Where do you store your children's art things? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.